Good afternoon and welcome back to the Core SMP, home of the newly renovated Core Circuit. We come back here for the second ever annual F1 race on the server, and if you remember last year's race, you'll know Canoe won here after Kayak stalled out on the final corner of the race. We'll see if he can get his redemption today after those unlucky turn of events. The Core SMP is home for everyone in the race, and the favorites for today's race comes from one of the newest teams on the grid with Canoe and Sharpswing driving the new Dominance F1 car, paying homage to their territory on the Core SMP. Last race, there were only five cars on the grid trying to etch their names in history. Go ahead and double that for today's race. Along with the new drivers, we see our first teams in the paddock. Dominance F1, Shoddy F1, the Netherite Hose, Among Us F1, and Scrambled Legs, all with brand new driver lineups. Let's go ahead and turn our heads towards the track. There are seven turns in total, four to the right and three to the left. Turn five will make all the difference if drivers can maintain good speed through the corner and have a good angle towards the next corner off the bridge. Another place to look out for is the back straight coming off of turn three. Being one of the new DRS zones, watch out for plenty of overtakes on the straight. We'll see what happens over the course of 24 laps in today's race with three tire compounds. The softest tire, which is the fastest of the bunch, the medium tire, one second a lap slower, and the hard tire, two seconds a lap slower, but might be a actually very good tire if teams decide to implement a good strategy. The softer the tire, the less laps it'll last for, so it'll be interesting to see what strategies teams implement over the course of the race. All right, let's go ahead and look at the starting grid for today's race. Kayak on a pole with a pretty flawless qualifying. Yacht qualifies Canoe in second, who also had a pretty decent qualifying lap. Kurut starts third, and alongside him, Sharpswing starts fourth. He has a great YouTube channel. You should sub to him, by the way. And in fifth, the Bones Out makes a last minute replacement for Mikazi. Next to him, Loltron in sixth for his debut race. Zilash starts seventh on the grid for Scrambled Legs, and Lava in eighth, who barely missed out on Q2. Then in ninth, Sir Bot brings up the rear behind his teammate, and in tenth, Gabe starts last for Among Us. Now let's go ahead and see how Kayak feels after putting up some impressive qualifying laps. Alright, so how do you feel about qualifying today? You know, did, did pretty good. The first two runs aren't the best, but I just knew I had to get that first spot. Pushed really, really hard in the last lap, the last Q lap. So, secured myself the yeah, first spot. Yeah, your, your yeah. team looked pretty good out there. Lava did bring up the rear a little bit. How, how is the car feeling today? Car, it, it's it's feeling really good. Um, the brakes could be a little better, but that's just warming them up. I just warm up. Yeah. Enough, so. All right. Well, uh, good luck in the race. Uh, we'll Thank you. Thank see you after the fact. Thank you. So, how'd you feel in qualifying today? I lost. <laughs> <laughs> I, I qualified last. <laughs> qualified last. Um, how, how'd the car feel? Uh, it felt like I was riding a horse in Minecraft. All right, and after a year of waiting, we are finally back for the second ever race at the Core SMP. Let's see who can go down as the second ever driver to win the Core SMP Grand Prix. The lights go out and away we go. Kayak and Karuk get a great start going out of turn one. And Dominance F1 like they were struggling for grip. But here goes Paul around the outside. He's going to manage to get the move on Gabe. But here comes Gabe. He's going to go on the outside in turn two. And he's going to pass Bones out. And he's also in the first. He went all the way from last to first in the opening three quarters of the race. It looks like Among Us is definitely using the softer compound tire. Here they come around the bridge. Gabe is still holding his lead. But Karuk goes wide. And he drops down to third. There are two nether the right hose on the podium in the opening lap and here's sharp swing can he make the move on kayak going into the home straight and he just about manages to pull that move off that is great if you're a dominance f1 fan let's go ahead and look at the leaders and oh no bones out stalls out on the turn coming out of the chicane <laughs> And that's really unfortunate for Bone South. Stalling out might be one of the key factors in today's race. So far, Among Us and the Netherite Hose look like they started on one of the similar strategies going off with the softer compound tires. So far, Gabe is in first. Karut and Bone South are following in Loltron in fourth, trying to grab a podium place to see if he can do it for Team Among Us. And speaking of strategies, another group is formed between the two dominance cars and the shoddy of Kayak. They must have gone for the harder tire being slower out of the gate, but if their strategy works to plan, they're going to have the end speed. And oh no, Sharp Swing is in anti-stall. I jumped again. No, I'm still jumping. I'm still jumping. My horse is glitched. 
And my horse is glitched. No, I jumped all the way to the last. And oh my gosh, Sharp Swing's horse is completely glitched. I don't even know what happened. It's just like his horse went into the anti stall, and now he's just completely glitched going down the back straight. He might have to take a pit stop to see if he can get that fixed from his crew, but that is really unfortunate for Sharp Swing. He went all the way down to the last place. Wow, Gabe has made himself a pretty considerable gap to crew behind. The Netherite Hose are going to try and go for the undercut in the pits. Let's see if it works. But hold on, back to Sharp Swing. He has TRS on the straight, and Sir Bot goes wide into the long corner. Sharp is going to get him just before the bridge, and now his eyes are set on Zalesh. He is in DRS range and has a shot to overtake both scrambled legs here, but is he going to have the pace to do it? Here he goes. He lunges up the inside and passes Zalesh, coming out of turn one, passing both of them. Great effort from him in this middle stint. And here comes Gabe around the corner. Is he going to pit for the medium tire? No, it looks like he's going to go for another lap. Now, if you're the netherite hose, a gap is just open for the opportunity of an undercut. We'll see what happens at the end of the next lap. And it looks like the netherite hose are going into the pits. Both drivers seem to be going on the same strategy. And oh no, what are they doing? They've gone into the wrong pit stop. They accidentally turned into the Among Us garage. They, that might have just cost them the race win. And here comes Lava and Sharp down the pit straight. Their teammates a couple seconds ahead who've already pitted. Who's going to have the faster pit stop, though? And there goes Chris in the Among Us just now leaving the pits. He's going to be leaving the pits with the netherite hose. It looks like Canoe is going to get out just in front of Kayak. And now most of the field is going to be on the medium. So which teams are going to have the pace to catch up? Let's go ahead and take a look up in front. Canoe and Kayak still battling for the lead, both wanting that victory. Canoe going for a second, Kayak going for his redemption. Both drivers giving it everything they cut. Canoe barely has them edged out though. They're both on the same strategy, so one small mistake might cost them the entire race. And here we are around the final few corners. This is going to be close. Kai was in this situation last year. Can he manage to win it this time? It's going to take a mistake from Canoe to do it, though. And here they are around the final corner. Who's going to win it? Canoe stalls! And he stalls again! Kayak can see the checkered flag! And after heartbreak last year, Kayak comes home to win the core SMP Grand Prix! Let's go! Let's go! Baby, let's go! What's the next race? That was so difficult. Wow, what a way to come back and get the win. You got to feel for Team Dominance in a situation like that. They put up a strong race for second and third, but we got to talk to the big man. We got to go see how Kayak is feeling after that crazy race. All right, you won today. How are you feeling? Oh, my God. Such a good race. Following Connor the entire time until he stalled, double stalled at the last, last section right before the bridge. Gave me the win. So, right behind his tail for the entire time. So you qualified first. You you won the race P1. Uh, Connor came in a close second. The double stalls, man, you got really lucky with that. I did, yeah. I was really hoping for just one stall. I would have got first. Then double stall? Like, that secured the P1. How did you feel about your pit stops in the race? It was, it was pretty fast. We had a strategy where we just dump the horses in the stalls, lock them up, and just go. Yeah, what what was your what was your strategy with tires? We went hearts first, let them let them get a couple laps on us, right? And then go mediums and then go softs. Well done, well done. Well good job today on the race. Great job, thank great you, job, great you. job for uh for shoddy F1. And uh yeah. Well, after an incredible race, let's look at the race results for today. Kayak gets his first win after coming so close last year. And Canoe in second place, he had an incredible drive leading 13 of the 24 laps. And in third, Sharp Swing finishes up the podium, making the new Dominance F1 team one of the most successful teams on the grid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our presentation of Formula One in Minecraft, brought to you by Sharp Swing. Go sub to his channel. But ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great night, and we'll see you guys all next time. Have a great night, everyone.